Hey everybody, Christy here, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about leeks, especially if you're somebody who hasn't really used leeks in your cooking too often. Um, it's a fantastic vegetable. Uh, it's a part of the allium family, so it's related to onions and garlic and shallots, um, scallions, green onions, all of those things. So they have that great oniony flavor, but just a little more delicate. So a leek has much thinner um, uh, layers to it uh, than you would typically find in an onion. So the main thing you have to remember when cooking with leeks is that they're a little easier to burn than onions because they have such thin layers in them. Uh, so the first thing that most of us aren't quite sure uh, how to do with leeks when we've never used them before is how much of the leek do you actually use? So typically in a recipe, when you're using a leek, you're going to use all of the white part and then you can use some of the light green. We're not going to use this top area. That's really, really tough, but I highly recommend if you make um, any kind of stock um, for soups, this is a fantastic item to wash and keep and um, put into your stock for flavor. Um, you're still gonna get that great onion taste um, and you just take it out when you're done. So you're going to chop away that top part <clears throat> and then you're left with this part of the leek for your recipe. Um, the ends, typically we're gonna trim those off, um, but you can trim a little bit more of that off of there and then you're just going to chop it up uh, for whatever recipe you're using it in and um, I like to chop them so they're a little bit thick. The final thing is sometimes with leeks because leeks actually um, we mulch them um, and oftentimes all the way up to here on the plant is going to be semi underneath the ground. Um, so because of that, you, they tend to get a little bit dirty, which is fine, um, but sometimes that dirt can get caught in all these tiny, tiny little spaces. So what I like to do is if I do see my leak and it seems a little bit dirty, I like to keep a mesh strainer around. You can also do this in a colander and I'll put my chopped leeks in there, run it under some cold water, shake it around so that loosens up any debris. Um, but otherwise, that is how you cut apart and clean a leek. So I hope if you are new to trying leeks, you try these out. You can really substitute um, leeks for uh, onions for leeks in pretty much any recipe that calls for onions. Just remember to really watch your heat, stir the leeks a lot when you have them in your pot because they will burn a little more easily. Enjoy!